Hey guys, this is Alex. Uh, I've got the HTC Magic here. I've been doing a few posts on this device. I've got quite a few emails of people asking me to do a video tutorial. I have gone ahead and made a video tutorial, but unfortunately it's too long, so I'm just editing it right now. I realize that a lot of you are actually really anxious to get the new uh, HTC Hero ROM on here. Uh, the great news is, is a lot of these last ones that uh, have, been, been, have been posted on the websites are actually just uh, hacked version of a, of a leaked ROM. Um, thankfully, HTC has come out with the actual new HTC Hero, which means they have, now the hackers have the original ROM. What that means to you is that it's already been ported to the HTC Magic, which also means that it's much more um, fluid, it's a lot better, it's got a lot more features, you've got everything from um, uh, Twitter to uh, uh, ha being able to read your, your emails right from the actual screen instead of going into programs. It's got the uh, HTC TouchFlow 3D interface which is nice. You're also going to have the Manila 2D interface which you'd have on the original HTC Touch. Um, but that's stuff you should already know if you've actually followed a few of my other posts. The big thing is, is that you don't have to make many customizations to get this running. All you simply need to do is upgrade your SPL to 20. 2005 and also go ahead and apply the update. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can go ahead and look at my other tutorials, but to make it brief, you simply go ahead and uh, you're going to go ahead and mount your card to your computer. You're going to go ahead and drop down the uh, the SPL that I've actually provided on the sorry, on the web link right there, and then you're going to go ahead and, uh, and rename that update and put it into your SD card. You're going to go ahead and press uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to press the home and end key on your phone um, once your phone is turned off and that's going to get, get you into recovery mode and then at that point you're going to go ahead and uh, just simply wipe the phone and then you're going to go ahead and apply the update and that's going to upgrade your SPL. What that does, I'm not really sure but I know you need it to get this running properly. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and apply the update, which I've also provided on the on the uh, on the uh, post right here. That's the Rogers uh, Hero update. That is in fact the real Hero ROM. That's not no modified ROM to work on. Your phone. That's the real Hero ROM that's just uh, been posted by HTC, which has been uh, ported to our phones here, so we can use it properly. And the great news is, is that the HTC Hero has the same specs as our phones, so our phones are going to run this uh, this ROM quite nicely without any lag. Um, so what you want to do is again do the same thing. You're going to go ahead and delete the original update you put on your SD card because you've already applied it to your phone. And then you're going to drag and drop that, uh, that HTC ROM for Rogers and you're going to rename that update and you're going to apply the same process. Um, if you want to go ahead and do a backup, before you do that uh, you're simply going to uh, put your phone in fast boot mode by going ahead and pressing the uh, back and end key once the phone is turned off and that's going to go into fast boot. And then you're going to turn on your command prompt and you're going to boot the recovery image that I've actually got here. In order to do that, you're going to go ahead and, and uh, put that fast boot image into your tools directory of your SDK folder. Then you're going to go ahead and press uh, basically fast boot, flash, boot, then uh, uh, that image right there. So you need fast boot, flash, boot, and then the actual name of the file. And that's going to apply it to this phone. Two things though, um, if you want Wi-Fi working, you're going to have to also take that file that I've also provided right there and you're going to go ahead and push that by first doing ADB remount and then uh, once it's succeeded, obviously you have to have the phone plugged in, you're going to go ahead and put, uh, um, you're going to put the actual uh, ADB um, uh, push uh, fold, uh, file the way I've written it down on the post here. You're going to write that down, you can even copy and paste it and simply put it on the actual command prompt and that's going to push the Wi-Fi so that, uh, or the Wi-Fi file so that your Wi-Fi works properly on your phone. Last thing, um, when you turn on the phone it's going to say T-Mobile G1. I put a boot image in there in case you want to go ahead and have HTC Magic written. If it's not a big deal, you don't need it. If you want it, it's there. Um, you simply go ahead and uh, once you've done everything you need to do, you go ahead and go back into the command prompt once your phone is turned it, it turn on and uh, you put this back into recovery mode again and you're going to go um, fast boot, flash boot and then you're going to go, um, uh, you're going to take the name of the file that I've given you and you're going to put that copy and paste it into your command prompt. And that's going to allow you to uh, push that uh, new image. It is a zip extract, you just take out the extract from the zip file, put it on your uh, uh, in your tools directory as well. Okay, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna go ahead and try to work on the uh, uh, on the editing of uh, my really long video tutorial. I'll try to make it maybe in two posts so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. 
Uh, if you have any questions, uh, simply just uh, either email me or uh, put some comments on my post. Uh, don't forget to register and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy your ROM too. This is a really, really good, uh, really good ROM for this device.